Hello and welcome back to the FSX Tout Twin Boom Show, the uh, show where I review aircraft with twin booms. Uh, today we'll be reviewing the aircraft Israel Aircraft Industries Arva 201. Uh, this is it here, and our flight test will be conducted at Nevatim Air Base. Uh, we'll also be doing a ferry mission to Bar. Uh, um, the lowest airport in the world by elevation so let's fly all right here we are in the cockpit of the Arva 201 uh, let's take a look around oh we are missing some gauges here dang all right zoom out oh I actually like this cockpit Wow, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I can't count all of the seats, but still one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This aircraft holds more than 60 people. Uh, from the sound of the engines, this is a terrible prop aircraft. Yeah. I mean, this, this airplane has potential. Oh, and our throttle control is up here like a Dash 8 or a, or a Goose. Wow, okay. Yeah. Even though this cockpit doesn't really look like photorealistic, it would have had potential, you know? Also, how we're zoomed out, it looks as if this cockpit is way bigger than it should be. Alright, let's go into shift panels real quick. Shift 1. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna take a wild leap of faith and say that the real 201 has some gauges here. Like, for one, I could think our attitude indicator, le top left, altitude, uh, and some more gauges, vertical speed indicator, speedometer, that kind of stuff. This has nothing. I digress. Shift 2, radios, shift 3, GPS. Okay, yes, we have a flight plan already in for LM LLMZ. Shift 4, what is this? Well, this is the heating and starter. Throttle quadrant two. Oh, this is the overhead panel. Sorry, the other throttle is on the roof. All right, shift five. Ah, uh, those that's uh, the warnings. Shift six. Something over to the left. Shift seven. Oh wow, this isn't even in English. Let's see, shift seven again. Wow, okay. Alright, cockpit functionality real quick. Accuracy! 4. Even though I like the layout of the cockpit, this lack of gauges really bothers me. Alright, working gauges! 4. Come on. Your primary flight display you're missing? Can't be serious. Autopilot! 3. 2D cockpit! Four. All right, let's check out the external model of this aircraft. All right, here we are on the outside. Very stumpy looking airplane. Looks looks like kind of looks like a, a Skyvan, a short the shorts SC7. We even have the twin tails here, but then you're like up. This is not a sky van. Right. Strange looking bugger, but we'll see what we can do with it. Alright, um Control surfaces, yep. Elevator Rudder does our nose wheel move too? It does. Either runs. Alright, so we have something akin to speed brakes that come up. Let's see. 
Uh, see, we have something akin to speed bricks that come up on the top of the wing. And I was checking to see if we actually do have speed bricks, but we don't. Oh! Okay, I guess both of them come up when we do um, full flaps. Let's see, I'm gonna re uh, incrementally retract the flaps. Okay, so at this position, the speed brakes thing are like kind of open, but not quite. Oops. And then this is almost closed. That's fully closed. Yep. So this almost closed position, this might be your takeoff. Takeoff laps. Uh, let's see. Okay, we don't have any external views. I'm going to turn up the volume because I want to hear the airplane. Yep, hear that turbo prop whine. Ooh, grumble. This airplane flies as if it's in a crosswind. What's going on here? Yeah, this airplane flies as if it's in a crosswind, but there's absolutely no wind. Alright, we're gonna climb to 2000 feet. And then we're gonna uh, do a turn 180 degrees to the right and then head to Bar Yeshuda or Bar Yeshida or whatever the name of the airport is. Alright, let's do ATC. Tune departure. Okay, that, that's that's actually quite sad. So we have no is type, no no manufacturer callout. So for ATC availability, zero points for manufacturer callout, zero points for is type. We have passed our 2,000 feet threshold. See, we don't even have a vert. Wait, is this our vertical speed indicator here? No, that's fuel flow indicator. See, so I have no idea if I'm flying level or what. Alright, right now I'm just working on a thumbnail. This airplane is forcing me to do coordinated turns. Not that you really should be forced to do coordinated turns. Coordinated turns are a thing you should always achieve to do. But somehow this airplane flies as if it's in a crosswind. I think I told you that you guys that are ready from the takeoff crew. Just trying to get a thumbnail. Alright. Alright, let's bring up our GPS. Nine minutes. We have 23 miles to go. Now, why didn't I? start at this airport here. I really should have started at this airport here. Because 9 minutes, I don't have that kind of time. Okay, I'm just testing on the autopilot. 
And wow, is it not good. How much ever I gave this aircraft's autopilot, I should give it less because this is terrible. That there is the other airport, the one we should have started at. But no. Some strange reason out there. Let's pick the airport that is not the closest. And you know how the FSX tow shoes are always on a time crunch. Because one way or the other, the shoes mostly go, they always go over 15 minutes. And I was like, no, 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 no. See what's our speed? Ground speed is 137 knots. Wow! We have not gone far. Alright, I'm just gonna cancel that that um that plan. I'm not gonna fly to Bar Yeshida anymore. Um let's turn around. Before that, checklist and references. No checklist, no references. Okay, for checklists and references. Zero points for a checklist, zero points for references. Let's turn around. Let's turn the sucker around. Bring the throttle down to half. And we're gonna turn around. We're heading back to the airport. Because I'm like, nope, I'm not gonna sit here waiting on us to, fl to reach um, Bar Yoshida. And I don't really know much about this aircraft, so I can't, like, you know, talk about the aircraft, the aircraft's history while we're flying there so I'm like let's just turn around alright I alright one notch of flaps hmm you would think the flap lever would be up here too why do all these airplane fans have exposed blades like this shouldn't they be caged or something Alright, one more notch of flaps. Alright, we're gonna land on the middle runway there. I'm not sure if we got a thumbnail before, but we'll find something. We'll find something to work. Again, why doesn't this aircraft track straight? Whoa, 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 okay. Okay, stall. Okay, yeah, I get that. I get that. I. Okay, we crashed. Magic nut. Stalling at 80 knots. Two notches of flaps. This aircraft is the worst. <laughs> I'm just going to check the uh, UI usability. Alright, here we are in the UI, and as you can see, there is no like absolutely there's no thumbnail. Like, come on, why there's no thumbnail? Let's bring up the score sheet for UI usability, and boom. Alright, so zero points for thumbnail. Aircraft manufacturer. I I aircraft. All right, two points for manufacturer. Let's see, okay, zero points for publisher. Go straight to legacy. I I I. Okay, zero points for aircraft type. Details. Two points for details. Multi-purpose aircraft. Operation, stool operations from short or semi prepared strips and improvised slots. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Alright, and here is the final score for the Israel Aircraft Industries Arva 201. Alright, 
uh, that was my review of the IAI Arava 201 by an unknown publisher. Tell me what you think about the video in the comments down below. Uh, be sure to check out other videos in the FSX Tote Twin Boom Show playlist. Uh, tell me what you think about those. Uh, thanks for watching everyone. Bye.